Well, 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 as a journalist with a journalism degree, I have been waiting for this day to happen. I'm not gloating and I am certainly not uh, smiling at someone else's downfall, but I have been waiting for this to happen. Cardi B has been awarded $3.8 million in the defamation lawsuit against blogger Tasha K. Tasha K and her company were found liable for defamation, invasion of privacy through false light portrayal and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Cardi B brought a lawsuit against Tasha K back in 2019 after multiple attempts to shut down Tasha K's false storytelling about the rapper. A little over a week ago, Cardi B testified that she wanted to commit suicide due to the fake storytelling. Is this a prime example of drawing the lines of freedom of speech? And will these uh, this open the doors for more celebrities to, sh to sue bloggers like Tasha Kay? What are we looking at here, Dominique? Well, we know that libel and defamation are hard to prove. And if you're a public figure, in many ways, you're considered fair game for satire, for gossip, for all kinds of things. You become almost like a public domain. So I was surprised, honestly, at this victory. Uh, it could open the door, but you know, you got to have Cardi B money for Cardi B lawyers. And I don't know that that's really going to become a big trend. I hope it does give bloggers, journalists, gossip journalists, and others pause when they think about writing about a public figure because they are human beings and they they shouldn't be driven to suicide, you know, kill yourself um, and, and just lie and come up with something true to make fun of them about or to criticize them about. Uh, don't, don't just make stuff up. Yeah, I think I, I think it's the whole lying part. You know, you're lying to get the follows, lying to get the likes. And it happens time and time again. And I really feel sorry for ce celebrities. Um, you know, I ain't, I ain't got their money, but that doesn't make them less human. You know, um, I feel sorry for celebrities who have to, who have children, you know what I mean? Who have to hear lies about their parents. That's a very hard thing uh, to, 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 to deal with and to raise children on. And so the fact that Cardi B, one of the, the highest, like one of the most popular celebrities at this moment in this time has been awarded $3.8 million, something that most bloggers can't even touch a percent of, uh, really sets a precedence, Alicia. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and wow. I mean, most people cannot afford four years of litigation. This is what it takes to win a case like this. And look, Tasha Keeby needs to be ashamed of herself. Well, that made me think Tasha had a little money. Cause yeah, I'm like, she was in litigation for this long. What? Well, she was making a lot of money at doing what she did because she has sponsors. That's where her money was coming from. So she She's could losing afford her sponsors it. now, might I add. Losing her sponsors and she owes the lawyers money. So you know what they'll do. They'll file bankruptcy, won't even pay them lawyers what they owe them. But um, but yeah, she uh, the what she was saying about the woman was just awful. That she cheated on her husband. That she had herpes. I mean, like you're really going in. And when she asked her to stop, and she sent her to cease and desist, had she simply stopped, it wouldn't have gotten this far. You know, Cardi seems like a fair person. All she wanted was an apology of you to take the stuff down. And this woman kept doubling down. So this is what you get. And then I don't know if you saw her latest video after yep. she lost. He's she still doubling down. Still tripling down. And losing. So now she's losing subscribers, sponsors, and that's very unattractive when you're wrong and you're strong. You know, <laughs> if wrong and strong was a person, it would be Latasha Keeby. And I'm just glad that Cardi won. Cardi's doing nice things like the, the people who died in that fire in the Bronx. Cardi's paying for their funerals. You know, she's doing stuff that a lot of celebrities aren't doing. J-Lo is Jenny from the block and she ain't looked over there twice. So my thing is with Cardi, I like her. I like what she does. I like her activism. I like her consciousness. And to try to take this woman down and admit that you knew what you were doing, that's a little demonic. And uh, I I don't know how people could even support something like that. And yeah, it needs I was to be totally stopped. shocked to see that she had actually tweeted a statement and then she went, made a whole video. I couldn't even look at that video. It was so long. But I was like, girl, bye. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Talking about the machine trying to take you down. Well, then who was trying to take Cardi down if the machine was trying to take you down? Ed. 
Oh, I'm such the dad here. This is this and is then OJ. You like ads, like I don't know. <laughs> no, I, you know, like really, like the the money that Cardi used, that the, how she made the money to, to to finance this lawsuit. Like I'm the father of a daughter, and I'm like ah, uh, it just it it rubs me the wrong way a little bit. Like you can you can make music that is so sexually explicative, and 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 then step back and say that. The, that a blogger is is ruining your life. It, it just it's it's a hard it's a hard sell for me. Now, I think the, the the legal questions here are are clear, right? Should a blogger be able to make up lies and make money while it's just spreading lies? Um, somewhere there is a, a fine line between what the blogger is doing, what TMZ is doing, what the general press is doing, and if there are standards around that, then then yeah, the the blogger should adhere to them, but. In the end game, on this one, I'm like, uh, I, I, I'm not like, you know, crying. Listen, Harvey it. Levin is an attorney, so TMZ ain't gonna never do nothing to get sued because the owner of TMZ knows exactly what he can and cannot do. I can tell you that right now. I've been a Harvey Levin fan. And that's probably the, the lesson to all bloggers that, that create content like that, you know, have an attorney to, to review your stuff. Yeah. Doc, Dr. Olaka? Well, I just think it's funny that Ed sounds like a good Republican man talking about the concern like a good father, sexual <laughs> promiscuity, haranguing the awfulness of the fake news media. Ed, I don't, I don't have anything else to say. You, you took all my, my talking points. But actually, you yeah, might, good dad's it. coming Republican and Democrat. Okay. <laughs> right, that's true. Fatherhood is a bipartisan effort. Okay, now that there said, I actually probably agree with Dominique on this more than anything else to make an even more crazy statement today. Uh, I I think it is a good thing uh, that celebrities are treated like human beings. Again, people make their money in a lot of different ways, as long as it's legal, which is what Cardi B is doing. We certainly can't forget the humanity here that exists. And the fact that, again, we forget the life that she came up in, the choices that she made, the fact that this particular situation could drive her to the point potentially of suicide tells you how this weighs on people's minds. So I hope it does open the door uh, to treat celebrities and, and people in public domain uh, more like human beings because they are. Yeah. Exactly. And and Ed and Dr. Oleka, are you trying to tell us that you have a problem with WAP? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. I have a, I have a problem with my, with, my, with my daughter opens up YouTube in the time. <laughs> Not in real life, they don't. Just when it comes to the party. I get it. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. You can get some back. You can get some so drag. Thank you, Ed Sanders, Alicia Cooper. And thank you, Dominique DePrima.